We're going to play this card as a feat, Stalwart Commander. Each hero may discard one inspiration to gain a focus and an armor. So they're both going to do that. All right, so that's that card. And we do have, uh, you'll see that this has the uh, holy there, or light there. So we do have that. Uh, we will be adding an inspiration token to each hero. Again, remember, our plan is to kind of sprint to the end um, and see what happens. So first action is going to be a move. So it's going to be one, two. So we're going to reveal the room. Right here is the uh, right here is the space for the feature. This is where our enemy uh, enemies will minions will show up. So first piece of the puzzle feature card. It is the mirror. A hero adjacent to this feature may gain an armor token. Uh, and interact for each supply gained during this test. Use a hero in this room to gain an armor token. Oh, man, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Yep. Uh, that interact. Willa, Willis definitely needs to be doing that. Um, so let me reach over here. Here is our mirror. Goes right there. And now we got to draw two minions. Uh, Gavin's the first one. So we get the Banner of Morn. Uh-oh. Triggers. Gain a threat token. Three progress to get rid of it. A range of two. Uh, we have to interact with it at a range of one with a task test of one. Each character in this room gains a threat token, and each minion threat card gains an armor. Ooh. Now it doesn't even say in that room. That's just like period. So that's going to come out. So we'll place that in a second. That goes with Gavin. And the next card. Oh, look. It's another red Crimson Courtier. That's going to go with Willow. So the Crimson Courtier is going to be right there. And, um, yep, now we're going to place. Now we got to place the trap. Uh, all right. Uh, there we go. So I've got it placed. It's right here. He still has one movement point left. But as soon as he goes through that door, it is going to trigger that banner. He's going to gain a threat token. Um, actually, I'm okay with that. Uh, so he's going to gain a threat token. So there's his threat token. He uh, has two of those. Okay. Uh, so I think the next thing we're going to do, I, I had com contemplated just running past this. I think given the supply we can get from here, and we just need three progress to take this out. And remember that test is a red test. So Gavin, that's kind of his jam. Uh, I think that's what we're going to do. So he's going to move. Whoa. Easy killer. He's going to move one, two with a second action. And that is going to trigger um, two more threat tokens for him. So there's his two more threat He has a total of four threat tokens. Uh, then he's going to do a test. He's going to do the task test to try to take out this um, banner. And take it out not only for him, but also so that Willow doesn't have to worry about it, hopefully. So let's go to the dice tray and see how well he does. All right. Here we are. Uh, so his test, uh, he's going to have, it's a task, uh, interact one. So he got to be beside it, which he is. He's going to get three dice. He's going to get minus one because um, of the test modifier. However... Um, remember, we do have this slot of the Luminary Pendant, so we can add a crit because we have not used that, um, and we can use that also to gain inspiration, which I don't really care about the gain inspiration, but I really care about the crit. So it's going to basically make sure we don't spend two actions getting rid of this banner. So uh, he's going to roll his three. And it says after he rolls for a test. So if he can roll high enough, we won't have to worry about it. If he doesn't, 
Uh, then we will. Okay, yeah, so there we go. We will. So there's two successes. Um, and um, focus. We need, remember, we need, really, we need, uh, well, that's actually enough. Oh, no, sorry. First success is so we need to get three progress, right? So that's really only one progress. So we're going to go ahead and we are going to use that pendant, which is going to give us a crit, which is going to let us actually roll another die. So now we have one, two, three before we have to use the focus. So we have enough to complete it using our last focus, but I would prefer to keep the focus if we can. And there you go. There's four. So there's one, two, three, four. It's a task one, so let's take away one of these successes. So that is one, two, three progress that would go on it. That completes the card, and also he's going to gain two focus because um, because of his roll. So it gives him a total of three focus. This card gets taken out. Bye-bye, Mr. Card. And guess what? You guessed it. Another supply for us. Awesome. So let's go back to the table and uh, see what we can do. All right. So that trap gone out of here. Um, he has one more action left. So I think his action, yeah, I think it's going to be to search. He's going to be to search the mirror, um, interact with the mirror and do a search test uh, because that's going to give us extra armor. And then Willow probably will do the same thing. Uh, because she does have a, he only has a two uh, in that stat. Willow has a three. So, yeah. Um, we're going to hopefully get supply plus armor, which is wonderful. So, let's go to the dice tray and see how we roll. All right. So, here we are with his last action. So, this is his third action that's going away. So, he'll be done. Uh, he's got two dice. Going to do the search and uh, see what he finds. So there's two successes with a crit, and so we'll make it. We'll make it three successes, All right? So we'll use their focus token. I'm just going to turn that into a success. That's a total of three. The mirror has not been searched, uh, so that's going to give us one search card and two supply, and that search token is going to go there. So there's the search token. Here's our two supply that are going to go uh, over here in our stash and our search card. Uh oh. Crap. Draw a lurker card and discard this card. Dang it. Ah. I knew that was had to happen at some point, I suppose. All right, so we're going to draw a lurker. And uh, we're also, he's going to gain, remember. For each success, he's going to gain an armor, so he's going to gain. Oops, he's going to gain two armor. So that's going to be good for him. And uh, we're going to draw a lurker card. Remember, the lurker card can be anything, so it's kind of scary um, as to what this could potentially be. Uh, what we're going to draw is a crawl assassin, Ooh, and he's going to get it. Uh, the good news is if it does attack it's him, it's got a good inflict that's at least something that's good for him. Nice. Well, not really. <laughs> Alright, so let's get the Crawl Assassin on the board. Uh, that's completed. And uh, that will complete his turn, and then we'll move on to Willow. Alright, so we have the Crawl Assassin out on the board. Spawned right there. Right there. Um, that was his last action, and it's quite unfortunate. And his card, as you can draw at the end of his turn, is leading the charge. Each year we discard an inspiration to move up to two spaces and uh, then attack. Of course, it is, again, a one range, so it's not really going to be able to use it. Um, okay, now we're going to go to Willow. Alrighty, so, um, pretty simple turn, really, uh, for Willow. She's going to do a lot of movement. So the first thing she's going to do is she's going to exhaust the quick route um, that we got, which lets her move up to two spaces. So I'm going to mark this uh, with a pro 
so we know we don't use it again. Let's get into two spaces, one, two. Uh, then she's going to use the first of her three, come here, token, three actions uh, to move three. So that's going to be one, two. She's going to end up on the other side of the door for three. Second action, one, two, three. Now, she could potentially um, take some shots. She could do an attack with her uh, slingshot. Um, too bad there's no wind uh, because that would be super helpful. Um, but that's okay. So she's going to go ahead and she's going to move three with her last one two, three. Remember, we can't reveal another room or I probably would have gone here to go around, but that's that's what we're doing. Because we're trying to get, once we get to this room that she's real close to, there's only one more room that the stairs are in. Um, but she will also uh, use her bury loot to exhaust the water to... Um, Choose a hero of the range to gain two focus. So let's go to the uh, dice tray and see what we get in the altar pool. All right, so here is her loot. Uh, this is her exhaust effect. So we're going to reroll this. Ooh, uh oh, we ended up with wind. Ooh, uh, two focus. The two focus is going to go to Gavin because she can only take, well, she could take it, but um, we're going to give it to to Gavin to give him four. She has three, so she's doing okay. Um, but that does use the Burry Loot, and that may open up some possibilities uh, for her. Yes, that, that think that does. All right, so this is where we stand uh, before the end of the phase. Remember, uh, Willow now gets to draw her card, which is going to be a Merry Minstrel feat for each success. You may place one melody token on a character card or any card. Okay. Um, and that doesn't have a range. So that's actually very important because you know what we could do? Um, like like these guys right that are right here, we'd actually use that to at least not activate their bottom effect if there was dark. Now, fortunately, there's no dark now, but that doesn't necessarily mean that there will not be. So, yeah, that's it. So now we go to the threat turn, which is not going to be as pretty as last time, I can tell you that. All right, so we're going to start with Willow. I'm going to show you the cards, and then we'll play it out on the board. Uh, so the Gargoyle is going to move first, and then the Crimson Courier. Um... And then we'll come back and do the tests for those. Um, but first, before we do that, we have to do this sneaking card. Uh, so we'll also uh, we'll do the sneaking card first, and then we'll process those two enemies. All right, here we go. So this is the last sneaking card, which means from this point on, we're going to be drawing uh, lurker cards. Oh, you know what? I totally forgot again. Dang, how did I forget again? Yeah, that uh, that courier is actually... Boop. Yeah, he doesn't get to activate because of our sneaking ability. Okay, nice, 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 nice. Um, so we've, we've got to at least say we've maximized that, right? So actually, um, we'll do this... Lurker, uh, sorry, this uh, alert card, the gargoyle will move, and um, that will be it. Now, uh, hopefully this card's not going to be too bad. Remember, this is for, uh, well, Willow. Willow's going to go first. Uh, test four. Failed place to quest token. Okay, so she's got a test four on orange, but she has two dice. Uh, really, honestly, at this point, um, it doesn't matter because, actually, how does that work? Uh... Hmm. 
two. Oh gosh, two and a focus. Wow. So yeah, that's a fail. Um, so we're going to put one of these on her card, but we do gain another focus, which is going to be uh, four focus total on Willows. So that's good. And um, yep, that takes care of that card. Next is um, we're going to do some movement. Uh, yeah, so let's, let me play this back because I think I had this, uh, paused accidentally. So the move was, uh, the gargoyle was moving one, two, three, four, five, six. And then an attack was made. It was a five. He only got one success. He had one armor. I'm sorry. He had one natural armor and the two other armor. So he only took one damage from that. So now we're going to go to Willow. I'm sorry. Now we're going to go to Gavin in process his frenemies okay uh, so feral mother is going to activate she is moving five so she goes one two three four five that's as far as she can go uh, it says if, in, if unable engage and inflict five so she still can't inflict so she still moved five there is no dark in the pool She's processed. Uh, the Crawl Assassin, engage and inflict five. Um, and so he's going to do that. So he's going to move right here. He's going to do an inflict five against Gavin. Um, so Gavin has got uh, three dice. And um, let's see what happens. All right, so I don't want him to take any damage. We have a lot of supply, so we're going to go ahead and spend a supply to add a fourth die, just to be safe, because he doesn't have all those armor tokens anymore. So that's unfortunate. Uh, wow, okay, well, that's cool. So we could have kept the supply, but whatever. That is four plus a focus plus two crits. Uh, and I do apologize. I know these dice are very hard to see with these colors. Um, I probably should go back and paint these with a darker color. I may actually do that. Uh, but I get two of these. And that is two successes, I believe. Yep, that's two successes. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, and he would gain a d d focus. So there's the focus he's going to gain. And he does not take damage from the assassin. Cool. Um, that is all of the characters. Uh, that takes care of the threat turns. Now we're going to do the villain turn. All right, for the villain turn, each minion heals a damage if there is no minions. There, well, we do have minions. They don't have any damage, so good to go there. Uh, there is no dark, so boom, that's done. Now, we still... <laughs> Still have to figure out, uh, see what Winona's got. Winora, dang it. Crawling Terror. Each hero must either discard one card or resist four green. Ooh. Uh, discard a card or resist four green. Hmm. Let me think about that. All right. Uh, so what I've decided is um, Willow is actually going to resist. She's got a two. She's got some good cards, so I don't really want to do that. Um, and Gavin is going to discard this card. He has another copy of it, uh, so we're going to do that. It, it, it's a one range. It's a good card, but it's a one range, so, you know, it, it's okay. Uh, okay, so uh, let's roll Willow's two dice um, and see what happens. Okay, there's two. That's a resist roll, so that means she takes two. And remember, that is resist. Uh, so resist is uh, not blockable by armor, so she is going to take uh, two damage, unfortunately. So that's three out of ten on her, yes? Yes. Three out of ten. So, 
Um, that takes care of the villain. Now we're going to go to the quest, uh, quest turn. All right, I know it's a little bit of a long shot for quest row because it is growing, but that is what it is. Uh, okay, um, activate each hero without a copy of sneaking in the threat area draws a threat card. Each hero within three or more quest tokens must either discard it or draw a threat card. Uh, so, uh, do 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 do, do without a copy of sneaking, and so that doesn't happen. Uh, they must either discard or draw a threat card. We don't have any three, so we're good there. Storm Altar. Each hero will discard a focus to change. Uh, I don't really think there's a reason to change. Uh, although, I th actually, I take that back. We're going to use one focus. So we're going to use one from Gavin. And we're going to change one of the fires into water. Just so we've got some additional uh, options for focus with Willow. Focus is good. Focus, we can discard it, we can make some extra hits or whatever if we need to, so I think I'm going to do that. Um, then we do have win. Each hero with no focus suffers damage. Well, everybody's got focus, and each enemy suffers a damage, so all the enemies are going to get a damage. And we're going to reroll this win die, so we may as well do that now. We get holy, or light, I guess. Not holy. I keep saying holy, it's light. Um, Treasure, nobody's near it. Weapon rack, nobody's near it. Ruin hall, nothing happens. Um, mystical mirror, each hero adjacent, a hero, sorry, adjacent to this feature may gain an armor token. Well, there's only one hero adjacent to that feature, and that is Gavin, so he is going to grab an armor token, and we've got to remember. All right, uh, that takes care of all of the quest items. So now... We'll start back at the top with our heroes and uh, see what we can do. I will say this. Let's go to the roll, uh, rolling tray because I just noticed something um, that may be a bit of an issue for us. Okay, so here's going to be the rub. So I thought, oh, we'll just sprint. And I failed to remember something about this card. So this, this card is special. That final room is special. Uh, when we open the door to the room with the stairs tile, we don't reveal the room, so we don't put a feature or anything in there. Instead, the hero draw, each hero draws a threat card and a lurker card, uh, and each minion spawns as close as possible to the door space connected to the open door, then draw a villain card. So actually what's going to happen is those two minions are going to clog up that door. So we're going to have to get rid of them. And the thing is, if we don't get rid of them quickly, right, then the other lurkers are going to come over there and try to do something. Um, so we're going to want to make sure that we can do lots of damage <laughs> uh, when we get in there. Now, obviously, um, it, the closest possible would mean we could put one in the door, directly in the door, one beside it in the door. And that would be okay. And I think, uh, let's see, if the each hero is on the stairs tile and the altars in a revealed room, the rear is successfully escaped and win the game. So, that doesn't say that there are no enemies in the room. So, if we can just get to the stairs, and I kind of think about this as like, story-wise, you fight, 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 you see the stairs, and you kind of like, do that last second fight and you, you manage to get through the stairs and maybe you shut the door behind you or you kick, you know, you knock something down and you go up the stairs and it kind of rolls down and, and knocks the guys back and slows them down enough for you to get out of the exit and into the woods and really, or wherever you're at and really escape, escape, uh, or at least evade them long enough to escape. So that's what I'm thinking. But that, that last room is going to be, uh, let's call it interesting. But, we don't have to worry about that quite yet. Instead, let's go to our uh, our heroes and see what we can do. All right, here we are. So I think I think our plan is still good. 